and it would automatically will express the human feelings in the free way of thinking and we must look towards the as long as human being remains the free as well because surrealistic way of thinking also requires the freedom of human being if human being is not given the freedom to explore his dreams then he would not be thinking in that term and if he is not thinking in that term he would not be able to express the work of art that he wished to do means there must be a freedom at least and may god bless you know the humanity to have the freedom till the end of humanity or as long as humanity is there similarly the surrealistic way of thinking is going to be there now let us move towards the real exploration of the work of art where the surrealistic aspects can be found students you can see on your slide the work of art by one of the most contemporary poet our thomas dylan thomas in his 25 poems the poem called and death cell have no dominion the idea itself say you that that the poetry is infused by the thoughts of surrealistic way of thinking the death cell no have no dominion has been considered by so many thinkers in the postmodern way of thinking as well but here i would like to see so you depict you that which can be called the surrealistic elements in the poetry the poetry begins and that shall have no dominion dead men naked they shall be one with the man in the wind and the west moon when their bones are picked clean and clean bones gone they shall have stars at elbow and foot wait for a while let us focus upon this line which says when their bones are picked and clean and clean bones gone they shall have the stars at elbow and foot means that when the bones are picked out when the man is dead his place would be amongst the stars because as we all in according to the indian mythology also believe that after death there would be a place for each and every one of us in the, amongst the star that is what is the free way of thinking that dylan thomas is expressing there that even though you bring our death you know bones and they are picked and clean and clean bones gone that you whatever you do with them they would become something amongst the stars means the dead man would be having his place among the star that you constrain us the way you want to constrain you restrict us but at the end we would be having the freedom to be amongst the star and be amongst the star you have the proper understanding what it can mean by being amongst the star next line of the poem if you see towards there though they go mad they shall be sane now here is the crux of the entire surrealistic way of thinking that even though they go mad they shall be sane that even in the method madness there is a method as shakespeare william shakespeare has rightly mentioned earlier in his one of the play that even the madness can have the method and similarly even human being goes mad he would be sane sane in the sense he would be in front of the almighty and the knowledge of the life that comes only after the death can be explored when one goes mad in the presence of death though they sink through the sea they shall rise again those they are drowned in the oceans they will rise again if you see physically also or the scientifically that if you are sunk in the water your body after the death comes floating on the surface of the water at the same time metaphorically also i would like to explore one more aspect of the poem that even in the defeat there is a victory means even though you are sunk you will rise again how in the next line it reveals though lovers be lost love shall not means that even though lovers lost 
due to the death but at the end it will be the victory of the love that as we could see in the form of drama of romeo and juliet leander and the and marius plays of shakespeare that even the lovers are being defeated whether it is porcia or whether it is juliet of romeo and juliet though they are defeated in their love the both lovers die but at the end it is the victory of the love ultimately that is what is the freedom of expression what surrealist want to express in the next line you can see that though and the death cell have no dominion means that even though the lovers are killed in the process of you know their eventual movement towards achieving the togetherness of themselves but it would defeat the death and death's dominion to restrict them that ultimately the freedom comes to those those who try those who if you know put their effort that death shall have no dominion and following that i would like to ask a certain question to the students that what other poems that are there in your study that you can find that having the elements of surrealistic way of expression please try to focus them because this would be the practical way of application of the particular way of thinking that that will lead you towards the critical thinking on your own when you are studying because at the end you need to have your own application on your own to interpret the work of art in the next slide if you see that in the case of painting of work of art with the surrealistic way of thinking now here the trees are cut and x which is a part of tree which you can see that it is a tree in itself means it is made of wood only having the butterfly upon it which as you know as you can feel that butterfly is asking it as if to stop cutting of the tree but it goes on and on means surrealistic as we can go back to the certain formula and the features of the surrealism as i have promised you to bring you back to this aspect with the painting that features of surrealism that the flow of pure thought inhibited by the reason now you cannot attach the x with the you know this tree but here they are inhibited without the reason there is no functioning of the reason and non conformity that you cannot have the conformity that the x can be immediately on the tree which is getting cut and disinterestedness there should not be any kind of interestedness as you can see in this picture that there is no interestedness of anyone that two different ideas brought together say for example the tenderness of the butterfly that is sitting upon it and the harshness of the x two different ideas brought into another totally different plane from the both to each other means x has cannot have the relationship with the butterfly or the butterfly cannot have the relationship with the x but the artistic imagination which is inhibited by the mind of the thinkers can bring them together and can explore altogether new way of thinking and that ask the if i go one step beyond it asks the receiver of the work of art to think into another way of thinking and gives them also the freedom to make or to interpret the work of art on their own in the next painting as i have mentioned that cornucopia and the production of human civilization which was the wish of the human being in the earlier period of time now cornucopia is the mythological aspect that fulfills the wishes and the desire of human being accordingly out of it as you can see on the picture the civilization the kind of society is emerging means whatever society we are having right now whether it is destructive or the constructive are the result of human way or the human desire only as you can see few slide back i have given you the instruction in the case of formula that 
Surrealistic expression is the creation of an image that brings about the fusion of two distance reality that is cornucopia is the mythological element whereas the society is the present contemporary element. It brings, it binds both together and brings upon the plane equally unrelated to either. That there is no connection as we could see in the earlier also that no immediate predecessor to having the cornucopia on the land and the human society coming out of it. No relation, no priori image of that. Now, it is automatic thought that comes into the mind. Now, let us move towards the method with the example of next painting, if you can see. That is, a human being is standing amongst the natural environment. Now, if we see that it is the a priori thinking that means that human being wants to disintegrate, disintegrate one's own identity means it wants to lose one's identity and in the nature when it becomes the matter of being one with the nature means it gives the message that how much crave is there in the human being to lose one's identity because this identity is the only thing that binds us with the regulation and the constraint of the society. Once the identity has gone, then the society becomes free for us. And that becomes the reflection on the painting that is there. Now, next painting is the very much significant for all of us. That if you can see that how we visualize the elephant with the help of voice, especially as you can see that it's having the huge voice of saxophone as you can see the both the ele elephants those who are sitting besides are also having the saxophone on the instead of their face now at the same time the here this deer is having the lyre on its head that is also one of the another kind of music instrument and now at the bottom instead of grass there are the bugles and the trumpets and something kind of that that our musical organs are taking shape of the place of the natural elements. Means the voice of nature you can feel has been given the voice of musical instrument in the form of the painting. Next, if you see that avant-garde as we had discussed, the method that has been said, the spontaneity of thinking and the pre-association of the thinking has been given the voice in the form of painting that is automatically coming through, coming out of the compulsion of work of art. They are giving the freedom to the expression through the painting. Now let us move towards the painting number one very rapidly before we move ahead. That it gives the expression which was never thought earlier, giving the first time, bringing together, two objects together. Even in the case of poetry as you can see that dead man as well as the lovers and their deaths, madness and sanity. As you can see on the line, the line as I am pointing out, the madness and sanity stars at the elbow of the human being. Now all these aspects are bringing two different extremes together, binding them together in the work of art and reflecting them as for the vision of the thinker or the artist that how he wants to express, how he wants to explore his imagination through the work of art has been depicted here one after the another. Friends, before winding up, I would like to have your, also, your own also imagination in the consideration of surrealistic way of thinking. How we have explored that as being the successor of Dadaism, which was the effect of way of thinking in the mind of artist against the dis disregard or what we can say the disgusting result of the World War I. What happens after World War I? The genocide and the killing of millions of people on the European plane and following results on the human civilization. The surrealistic uh, thinkers in that terminology revolted against the so-called bourgeois society. This bourgeois society was challenged by the 
surrealistic thinkers that the rationalism of the work of art is not required there should be freedom following that after world war 2 there was a kind of post world war 2 movement called existentialism its impact and how it overshadowed the surrealistic way of thinking following that we could see that even though there there is the impact of existentialistic way of thinking there are a kind of school there are numbers of people those who are using utilizing the work of art with the help of or utilizing the surrealistic way of thinking to express their feeling through the work of art especially salvador dali as we have seen the breton himself as well as dylan thomas and numbers of poet, uh, poets and the painters those who have taken the help of surrealistic way of thinking nowadays in the very much popular advertisement also we are having the expression of surrealistic way of thinking with that note student i would be very much happy if you try to explore your own perception of surrealistic way of thinking in the work of art in the advertisement in the case of movie as well as in case of paintings and poetry that you are coming across through your day to day life thanks a lot thank you all Sandham All Gujarat Integrated Classroom Satellite na madhyam thi jodti kadi etle sandhan